So have you ever left the club at a hole? Or oh my god! What once around? Fuck. So if you leave it at the hole, is it like you getting it before you leave, or have you ever left the course and then realize after? Oh no, I've never done that. Um, I have. I mean, I'll forget like you know, uh, my fifty six or like my pitching wedge or something yeah. next to the green or whatever. Um, I did. I did have a buddy who <laughs> left his driver at the tee box. I don't remember how that happened. Uh, but I I remember specifically the guys behind us were like, "Do you need this?" And they literally <laughs> brought a driver. And we're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, I've never left the club, but I will lose those club like my especially my three hybrid and my three wood cover. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've lost <laughs> a couple cover. of those. The covers are always funny. And the other thing I always I swear I lose like two or three a season is the little like divot tool ball marker, the switchblade mm-hmm. things. Mm-hmm. I lose so many of those. Damn. And I think it's because I like I don't like putting my putter down on the like in the wet grass, especially in the morning. So I'll put my pitch mark in. And set like my grip on top of it oh, to keep okay. it up out. And forget it. And then I think I grab the putter, but then I'll leave that. And, <laughs> and then I later then can't fix my pitch marks. I have to use the T. Yeah, I use a T where I just put my T in the ground. Um, keep but it. I go through so many of those. That's so fun because those are like fifteen bucks a pop. Yeah, like the nice ones with <laughs> yeah. the little switch and the ball <laughs> like, mark and just the rowing money around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I um, yeah, yeah. I lost. I had a really nice like, um, coin that i was using for my ball marker and i lost it somewhere i was golfing in uh some course in jersey i don't remember the name of it but Mm. i yeah i left it there i was pissed i was i spent like 25 bucks on that yeah it was like a commemorative thing (laughs) yeah for uh um i don't remember i can't remember it It was so long ago but i just remember being real upset about it (laughs) yeah that's why it's like I feel like it's I've gotten better with at least not leaving things in the cart, just walking more often. Cause it used to be I'd like head to my car and then I do like my club count. And then like I got in the habit of I left a range finder in the cart once. Ooh. Which is on you know, they're like 150. Mm-hmm. So now it's like, all right, make sure the range finder's actually back in there and not still like stuck to the yeah, cart. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I do know how to use a rangefinder. We have video proof of it. It's crazy <laughs> how that works. Um, yeah, I don't. Man. Yeah, you don't use like you've never really done much of the GPS either on your. Do you ever no. run that on the phone or a no. watch? I have my thing, and I'm very prideful in it. I have really great depth perception. Like mm-hmm. I can like, and like. Sp- um, my buddies will tell you when I play Rocket League, like I'll guess the speed of goals. Like before, I'll just see it. I just know the speed. Mm-hmm. Same thing with like the death percent. I mean, I'm I'm always I'm pretty close. I'm usually like yeah, within yeah. five or ten yards of, of it. Um, so I've never really utilized one. I probably should, yeah. especially on like the higher elevations or lower <clears throat> ones. I like using my range finder more than the the GPS, but I. I don't always use it, like, to the flag. I use it a lot shooting to, like, a tree so I know, like, mm-hmm. the space I've got. Like, I, oh, I use yeah, it a lot idea. off the tee. Yep. Um, especially courses I don't know so well just <clears throat> to know, like, okay, if that tree is 240, like, I want – this ball can't go any further than, like, 220. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> Or if I got to carry water and stuff like that. Like, that's usually more often when I'm laser wing rather than the flag. Like, yes, I do laser the flag, but it's probably 25, 30% of the time that yeah. I'm laser in the flag. And, yeah. And not a different object to figure out where I'm going to land the ball. Hmm. Interesting. I didn't know that you did that for the, on the, like, on the tree. That's kind of yeah. cool. Hmm. Oh, shit. But that's why at Winoa, there's different holes, like... I can tell you number three with that willow out there. That willow's normally sitting about 220, <laughs> 225. <laughs> and the, with that, you got to know, you have to have the course knowledge as well, yeah. knowing that, like, the willow is not in the ideal position. You really want to be, like, 50 yards back from it because it, it hangs over so far. But, yeah, utilizing it more like that, which I a lot of people use the GPS stuff for. Mm-hmm. You know, they're able to see it on the map and drop a pin and everything like yeah. that. It's just... I don't know. I personally don't think the GPS are like as accurate. No. And I've also known because I've had various range finders. Some of them are like not as great. I currently have the pinned golf one. Mm-hmm. That's the rechargeable, and I love that one. I feel like it's the most accurate one I've had. 
Um, but without going and spending, you know, 500, 600 bucks. Yeah, on, like, dude, I'm not, I'm not dropping like half a grand on a yeah. fucking GPS. I don't care that much. Pinned is good stuff. I feel like I got mine for like 150 or so. Yeah. No, and I love that it's rechargeable because they, they take those weird batteries and then the battery is expensive. So this one's just like a yeah. USB charge and it's. Those bastards. Do you even still, who uses batteries still? I have to change the battery to my key fob for my. Uh, Damn. My car, and also, especially this time of year, these cold northeastern winters, the garage door close in my car. Like, I can open the garage door from inside the house, but mm-hmm. then once I back out of the garage and I go to close it in my car, because my car's been sitting outside in 15, 20 degree weather, right. it's so cold. No I shit. have to, like, and, like, click it to, like, warm up the battery before <laughs> it actually closes the door. I just had to change the batteries in my smoke detectors, and I was like... I can't. I genuinely could not remember the last time that I. I think you're supposed to do it every six months. Well, I think that the that whole thing is it's like when you change the clocks, you change your batteries. That's like the oh. it's the fire department's little pitch they oh, do. Well, shout out fire departments. Uh, <laughs> no, I I don't know. I mean, well, it started beeping at me, so I was like, yeah. oh, I should I should change this. So I had three, so I had to like go through and yeah. change them in my apartment. But I was like, I I literally was trying to genuinely remember the last time i had to buy batteries i guess like before i had my my wired xbox controller i used to use batteries all the time but no (laughs) that's about it the dumb shit we think of you know yeah that adhd brain of mine just going off yeah thanks for watching today's episode to see more of our content be sure to follow us on instagram tiktok and subscribe on youtube we can be found at basic bogeys on all platforms thanks we hope to see you on the next one